Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Zabalski. This has been a disappointing homestand, which has only amplified the urgency to pick up points tonight. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck for this opening faceoff. The Sharks start with possession as we are now underway. Sends the pass over. Takes it to the front. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make a save from a high danger area. San Jose has got the puck. Here they come. The Bruins have it from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it to Lindholm. That's blocked by Kekkonen. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Marshawn's a player who sticks with the play, guys. He's got that no contest zone ability. That means he goes into those 50-50 puck battles so he can get possession for his team and generate new chances. And that's deflected. That knocks him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. Big time glove save. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Coyles won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Kakinen. Quick shot. San Jose's got possession here in the offensive zone. Taken by Lindholm. Great poke check on the reach. Oh, look at this chance. Moves the puck. Oh, what a hit. He sacrificed his body to make the play. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Gaining steam here on the attack. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the ball. Coyle's getting tossed with a game misconduct. San Jose's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. The scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Nice zone entry from the left. The Bruins take it along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he shuts the door again. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Kiki's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Brown. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Penalty coming up. I'm going to guess that he's going to look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, the blue players are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. their BFF here. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five-on-three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Quick feed to... Score! Slumpers on the board! That's his first of the year! of time and space in that high slot area he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot pulls it into the feet disguises the angle and beats the goalie clean the Bruins have to be feeling good about themselves after getting on the board first here I like that tempo especially in the latter half of this period James they've had more speed more urgency to their game and they're rewarded with that goal and they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. And that's poked away by Carlo. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Bruins take possession of the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. San Jose's got it. 
across the line. A chance in front. He scores! What a play! Power play strikes James, and that's excellent movement along the perimeter and just waiting for your time to get it to the middle of the ice and execute. That's a great slot shot. Still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. The Bruins win the face-off at center. And he slides it quickly to Kiki. Quick feed down low. And he gets in front of them. And it's in the net. That's a goal. They're going to count that one. On a tie game and you get the nod for the PK, all you want to do is show coach, prove to your team that you can kill it off, but this puck goes the other way, and they wind up breaking the tie by getting the shorty. Unbelievable. Boston's gone in front by one here in the back half of the first, and how does this change the complexity of the game? It's a lot better being ahead than it is being behind, James, and they're ahead now, so they've got the go-ahead goal. They'll want to continue to press. You know that the coaching staff is going to be looking to manipulate the lineup to get the matchups that they want. Listen, their opponent is vulnerable these next two shifts. They need to respond accordingly. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Slick feed. to Lindholm. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Slides it on over to Forbort. From the left side, takes it at center. Boston's got the puck along the wall. The Bruins have it behind the cage. Here's a short pass to Forbort. Oh, spectacular stop there! In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eye Tender and for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Quick pass to DeBrusque. Manipulate their roster construction here as they're down a player now. That's a tough loss. They're going to have to figure out a way to manage it. Thanks for that update, Cheryl. And you're right, a tough loss indeed. Pushes it across to Stern. Sutherland's got the puck along the wing. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Kakanen. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. The Bruins have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Answered the call on that play. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action, stick around. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Kakanen's been so dialed in right from puck drop, and really the only player that has been, he has been under seas. Yes, they're trailing, but they still have an opportunity to get back in this game because of him. Makes his presence known on the ice. Drives to the paint! Lots of 
lots of time left in this period. The Bruins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Boston's got it, and they're on the attack. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Let's see what the official says here. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. should open up here with a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. Shot, second, and that carries off a body in traffic. The Bruins' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Moves it to Pasternak. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Sends it in front. Recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Fredericks won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Smith almost back on the ice. The Bruins get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Pakkanen's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Scores on the rebound, it's buried! We got to love the effort it takes to get in on that rebound, James, but he also recognizes that he's going to elevate it right away if he wants to beat the goaltender's buff. The Bruins continue to dictate the play here tonight. They've now gone up by two in the second. Yeah, their play is reflective on the scoreboard, and that's not always the case, but they've had the majority of the shots in this one, James. They continue to put pucks to the net. I expect that number to go up. Boston's got the puck in their own end. And the officials waving off icing here. Sends it down low. Makes a move in front. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. They are really feeling it now here in the end zone. Big time collision there. Over to Preston. Incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck. Past the midway mark of the frame, Boston's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Bruins get a hold of the draw. Gains the zone on the left wing. Lindholm's got it to the side. Shot right in front! Glove save made by Kakanen. The Bruins are checking all the boxes tonight. More shots, 
more goals, and they lead in the second. Sackers won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to come on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade-A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. That goes wide. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Passes on over to Ferraro. Slides the puck across to Kunin. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Big time stop! Pakkanen's been outstanding, tracking pucks and making huge saves like that one right there, right from the slot. That's a beautiful pass saved by the goalie there. Kakanen's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Boston's had one song in their mind all night long. Shot, 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 shot. They continue to lead late in the second. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? San Jose, he's got to have a fresh start in his third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Two players moving the puck through his own zone. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Boston's got the puck along the boards. And he lowers the boom there. Puts it to the paint. How did he stop that one? As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Still in the early stages of this period. Boston's got a 3-1 lead. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Beautiful read in the defensive end by LeBanc. Puck moved over to Duclair. There's another hit, and you get a sense that this was a game plan to go after him tonight here, Cheryl. Well, he certainly has a bullseye or target on his back, James. Oh, what a great save by Kakanen. Takes the feed from his own end. That stretch pass was a beauty, James. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Oh, this has turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. Sederlund's got it against the boards. Taken along the wall by DeBrus. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Boston's looking to break out. Takes it and looks ahead. The Bruins played along the boards. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Throws it in. Boston's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Frederick. The Sharks get a hold of it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Quick feed to Brown. Picked up along the wall by Grislyk. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. They gain the zone from the left side. The Sharks take it from the side. Takes the pass from the boards. Turned aside with a glove by Omar. Scooped up along the wall by Lauko. And it's a quick pass to Brown. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Stop! And they're cooking now. Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. Well, he's in tight to the net, 
James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Boston's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Here's a short pass to Saka. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. Moves with the puck at the corner. of a heater right now, Cheryl. Yeah, this is a tough one when you're on a losing streak like this. It just is so deflating, James. And although they've had good stretches in games, their game management has not been good. Mistakes that are costly have cost them a lot. Thanks so much for joining us here. It was a fun one to call, and we will see you soon. For all of us here at EA Sports, stay safe.